Hi guys, uh, I hadn't intended to do another video about the Chaos Cloche, as I called it. Uh, just a bit of background, Glass Cloche from the Poundland um, Halloween uh, stock. Base from a desktop perpetual motion uh, toy. Uh, it's not perpetual motion. It's got batteries in it. It's got a coil in it, and it's got a transistor. When the magnet goes past the coil, it creates a, a pulse of electricity that triggers the transistor to send a pulse of electricity through the coil, and that repels the magnet. So you've got a reciprocating process going on there, triggers the transistor, triggers the coil, sends a pulse to send the magnet away. So it, it just keeps going. Uh, but it's not perpetual motion because you're using a battery to supply the power. Anyway, that works, but it isn't what I wanted. I called it a chaos cloche because I wanted to create a chaotic pendulum effect inside there with two two systems going together, one driven by the mag by the battery, and then the other one driven by the magnet flying past it. I just couldn't get it to work. Anyway, the rotor in there is from one of my other projects. And if you saw the previous videos, I also tried that rotor, which was again from another project. And I was looking at them on the desk thinking, I remember what that was for. That was supposed to go in that one, uh, which is solar powered. There's not enough sunlight to actually make it run continuously at the moment. But I'd got that base that would fit just inside of that cloche, which again comes from Poundland a few years ago. And I was trying to run that off. Uh, that bit just there is out of a solar rocker. And it does work absolutely fine. Pulse motor that way round uh, on a needle held in place by a magnet at the top. Very low friction and it runs. Anyway, I thought I'd try and do it that way up. The hole at the bottom is for that little bit there, which is the coil out of the solar rocker. Uh, you can see the solar, the solar rocker circuit board there. And as you can see, I've got a solar panel on the top there. I've been running it off other things, which is why it goes all the way out there. But yeah, that does actually work absolutely fine. But originally it was intended to be this way up with this rotor, and that just wouldn't work. But... Take this one off here and put this one on here and hold it in place because it's got nothing to hold it into the right position. And away we go. Because it's not held in place properly, that's why it's sort of moving around a bit. But I'm quite pleased because I could never get that to work off this setup with the um, solar rocker circuit. That wasn't giving us enough power to actually push that one round properly. But the coil that's in this base and it's got uh, three triple a batteries i think or three double a i can't remember or maybe two it's either running on three volts or 4.5 volts significantly more than you get from the little solar panel there so it's enough to keep that one running absolutely fine 
So yeah, that I hadn't intended to do another video, but there we go. I've done another video. One of my failed pulse motors is now running. I'll still call this uh, Chaos Cloche because it just goes in the series, but it's nothing to do with Chaos. It's just in there, we've got a coil. Expect if I bring that up close to there, it'll interact with a bit of magnetic coupling. <laughs> I've almost got me chaotic action by default. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.